guys, welcome back. Um, this week we're going to be working on a couple old Suzuki's that I just picked up yesterday. Um, I went to buy a Suzuki Katana, which is not in the shop right now, but you'll probably see it later on in the, the videos. And uh, I ended up buying a Suzuki Katana and a couple old 84 Suzuki GS450s that clearly need a lot of work. So this one here is allegedly the good bike. And this one here was the parts bike. So we're going to start by putting the good bike, which is actually more apart than the parts bike, back together and see how far we get on it and maybe we can get it running today. We're going to start by laying out all the stuff in the bins, see what we have, see what we need. Um, hopefully everything's here. If not, like I say, we have a parts bike. Hopefully everything's between the two bikes. We should have everything to assemble one bike. So we're going to get it all laid out, try and figure out what we need, what parts are better for this one and what parts are better on this one that we're going to take to put it on this one. This tank, I guess they are not using it. Nice. Sounds like there's a bunch of water. Okay, well this is what we got. Um, I guess we'll strap the bike down on the lift, start piecing it together. Start with the tires. So, yeah, get the swing arm in it. Swing arm, front tires, get it rolling, then we can get it on the other lift. Yep. Now that we got the bike rolling, both the tires are on, we're going to switch it out, put it on our other lift, and uh, keep assembling it. Alright, so we're making good progress on this uh, little Suzuki. We got the tires on it, we got it onto this lift. I got, I think I got the clutch back together all properly. We had to rob a couple parts out of the other bike. We're going to put some oil in it, jack it up, and uh, spin the back tire, see if we can run through some of the gears. Alright, this bike sat for a long time. We don't know exactly how long, but um, guarantee you that we're gonna have to do something with these carburetors I'm gonna pull this uh, float bowl plug the drain here see what comes out of it but we're probably pulling these right out putting them on a bench and rebuilding them Come right in there. oh this one had this one's dry That one had nothing in it, that or it's gummed up. Okay guys, I tore this carburetor all apart, uh, cleaned up what was in there and blew out all the jets. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but it was good we did it anyways. We have other videos of me rebuilding motorcycle carbs. If you wanna see that, check them out on the channel. Uh, we're gonna get it put back in now.
Okay, we got the carb all back together and put back on the bike. We got some quick start. We're gonna try uh, spraying into the breather here. And we know we have spark. We checked that off camera. I actually had to change a coil. We just stole it off the parts bike, but we'll see if it fires up. put the exhausts on now. You've seen we got this bike running. Uh, not bad considering we pulled it out of the back of a truck this morning and at the beginning of the video you've seen it was in crates. Uh, impressed that we actually did it. So we got a few more things to button up. Just get the seat on it, put the headlight in it and go over it quickly. We're not keeping this. This will be something that's going to be sold so you won't be seeing it on the channel again. If you like the stuff we do, give us a like and a subscribe. We'll see you next week.